the world of showbiz, the glitz, the glamour, and the occasional scandal that keeps us all on the edge of our seats. Enter Sean Diddy Combs, the rap mogul extraordinaire who's found himself in a bit of a pickle lately. You see, it all started when his ex, Cassie, aka Cassandra Ventura, dropped a bombshell lawsuit accusing him of some seriously shady behavior. We're talking physical and sexual abuse, folks. Allegations that had Diddy's legal team scrambling faster than you can say bad boy for life. But wait, there's more. Three more women, and even a dude, yep, you read that right, joined the chorus, slapping Diddy with accusations ranging from sexual harassment to straight up rape. And just when you thought things couldn't get any crazier, federal agents swooped in, raiding Diddy's swanky properties faster than you can say, making the band the reason. A juicy federal sex trafficking investigation straight out of New York, of course. Now Diddy's not taking these allegations lying down. Oh no, he's lawyered up and ready to fight tooth and nail to clear his name. I am innocent, he declares, his lawyer chiming in with the classic, my client didn't do it, defense. But hey, let's not jump to conclusions just yet. After all, in the world of Hollywood, stranger things have happened. So sit back, grab some popcorn, and let the drama unfold, folks. This is one blockbuster you won't want to miss in this video. I will break down the victims on of Diddy. Enter Cassie Ventura, who's gone from pop star to headline maker with allegations that would make even the most scandalous tabloid blush. Picture it. Cassie, fresh-faced and wide-eyed, meets the legendary Sean Diddy Combs in 2005. A match made in Hollywood heaven, right? Wrong. According to Cassie, what followed was anything but a fairy tale romance. Nope, instead of roses and chocolates, she alleges a pattern of abuse, violence, and sex trafficking, leaving Diddy's reputation in tatters faster than you can say press conference. But wait, it gets even wilder. Cassie takes matters into her own hands, slapping Diddy with a lawsuit under New York's Adult Survivors Act, a legal maneuver that even the sharpest legal minds would envy. She claims Diddy controlled every aspect of her life, from her career to her medical records, and even alleges he was violent, physically abusing her multiple times a year. Yikes. And just when you thought things couldn't get any crazier, Cassie drops the bombshell. Diddy allegedly forced her into sexual encounters with other men, all while watching, you guessed it, like a creepy puppet master pulling the strings. And as if that wasn't enough, she claims he raped her in her own apartment, leaving her feeling violated and alone. But fear not, loyal readers, for justice is served. At least, sort of. Cassie and Diddy quickly settle the lawsuit, sweeping the sordid details under the rug, faster than you can say settlement agreement. And while the specifics remain shrouded in mystery, one thing's for sure, this Hollywood romance turned nightmare has all the makings of a blockbuster hit. Grab your popcorn, folks. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Just when you thought the drama couldn't get any juicier, along come not one, not two, but four more folks with allegations hotter than a jalapeno on a summer day. First up, we've got Liza Gardner, who's got quite the tale to tell. She claims that back in the early 90s, after a swanky MCA Records event, she found herself in a rather compromising position with none other than Diddy himself. Talk about an after-party gone wrong. And if that weren't enough, she says Diddy's pal Aaron Hall got in on the action too. Sounds like a party you'd want to RSVP no to, am I right? But wait, there's more. Joey Dickerson. Neil's got a bone to pick too. She alleges that after a seemingly innocent dinner date with Diddy, things took a turn for the worse when she claims he drugged and assaulted her. And to add insult to injury, she says he even recorded the whole thing. Talk about a Netflix special you'd never want to binge watch. And let's not forget about Jane Doe, who's got a bombshell of her own to drop. She's accusing Diddy, along with his right-hand man, Harve Pierre, of some serious wrongdoing, claiming they gang-raped her at Diddy's Manhattan recording studio when she was just a teenager. If that doesn't make your jaw drop, I don't know what will. And just when you thought things couldn't get any wilder, Diddy's former producer and videographer, Rodney Lilrod Jones, joins the fray with allegations of sexual harassment, drugging, and even threats. Sounds like Diddy's got more skeletons in his closet than a haunted house on Halloween night. But fear not, dear readers, 
for Diddy's legal team is ready to defend him like a knight in shining armor. Um, first up, we've got Jones, who's got a bone to pick with Diddy. He's claiming that Diddy was using him like a pawn in a game of celebrity chess, grooming him to pass him off to his friends like some kind of high stakes trading card. But things took a turn for the worse when Cuba Gooding Jr. allegedly decided to get a little too handsy during a yacht outing with the music mogul. Talk about a boat trip gone wrong. I mean, who knew a yacht could be so crowded with unwanted attention? But wait, there's more. According to Jones, Diddy's inner circle was all too happy to turn a blind eye to his shady shenanigans, all in the name of rubbing elbows with the rich and famous. I mean, who wouldn't want an invite to one of Diddy's legendary parties, right? It's like the Golden Globes meets the Playboy Mansion with a side of scandal, and just when you thought things couldn't get any crazier, federal agents swoop in like the cavalry, raiding Diddy's palatial estates faster than you can say lawsuit. It's like a scene straight out of CSI Miami, except instead of solving crimes, they're looking for evidence of sex trafficking, assault, and even drug dealing. Talk about a plot twist. But hey, Diddy's not going down without a fight. His lawyer's swinging back harder than a boxer in the ring, calling out the gross overuse of military level force and insisting that Diddy's innocent until proven guilty. We've got Revolt, Diddy's brainchild media company, where he's decided to take a little break from the chairman seat. I guess you could say he's giving it a spin in the hot seat while Revolt tries to keep its focus on the mission without the Diddy dazzle. And let's not forget about Capital Prep Harlem, the charter school Diddy poured his heart and soul into. They're giving him the old, it's not you, it's me routine and calling it quits on their partnership. Ouch, that's got a sting. But wait, there's more. It looks like Diddy's e-commerce empire, Empower Global, is starting to crumble faster than a cookie in milk. With at least 18 companies jumping ship, it's like the Titanic, but with less icebergs and more bad press. And just when you thought things couldn't get any worse, Diddy's reality TV dreams are going up in smoke faster than you can say lights, camera, action. His show, Diddy Plus 7, is getting the axe before it even had a chance to hit the airwaves. Talk about a reality check, huh? And last but not least, even his artist management company, Salxco, is giving him the old heave-ho, wiping their hands clean and waving goodbye to Diddy like a bad habit. Looks like Diddy's finding out the hard way that in showbiz, one day you're in and the next day, well, you're out. 